this, of course, is an ATM machine, which is, uh, if you think about it, redundant. And uh, I would recommend at home uh, generally avoiding these. You can use your uh, club card at your grocery store and ask them to attach or convert it to an ACH, making a cost-free electronic check, turning two trips into one and getting your cash in a safer environment. If you're overseas, a debit card for cash, credit for other purchases, restaurants, uh, hotels. And uh, if you're in the UK, you'd, uh, you'd get a cash dispenser. In France, you'd locate a distributeur. In the uh, Netherlands, Holland, uh, Germany, a uh, Geldautomat. In uh, Sweden, a uh, Bankomat or a Bankomato in uh, Italy. How much, though, should you withdraw, be it at home or overseas? Well, the cost of your cash not earning any money is uh, the average of the high and low, hence the uh, dividing by two, and times the cost per unit, here in this case dollar per dollar, so it's a percent. And then we have the number of orders, that's your usage, let's say here per year, divided by the amount you withdraw each time. And if you multiply that times the transaction cost per order, and add these up, uh, which I've called K here because I'm running out of letters of the alphabet. By the way, notice here I wrote this another way, which will come in handy uh, just merely for notational purposes in a moment. But if we look at the graph of it, you see the average inventory rising as a straight line to the right. And you see the ordering cost declining as each order becomes larger, therefore there's fewer orders. And you add these two together, and uh, you see the total. And if we look at some calculus, we can note that this equation takes the form that we would take down the power and multiply it, and decrement that power of exponent by one unit. And applying that to our handy version of the equation, and the derivative, the slope, and we set it equal to 0. That's where the minimum is. And we find out that that optimal quantity is 2 times the usage times the transactions cost divided by the carrying cost. And raised to the half power, meaning the square root, we find the minimum. Well, look again at that graph. We'll see that minimum, which we've computed with what we call the EOQ. And you'll notice it occurs where these two components cross each other and are equal. We can use that later as a check answer to make sure we've figured it correctly. Well, let's do a numeric example. Suppose someone uses, say, $10 a day. Um, with a 360-day year, that's what people do in finance, and that's how they figure bonds, by the way. You have uh, $3,600 per year and for cash purposes. Let's say it costs you $0.75 cents per transaction ordering cost to make a withdrawal. Not be just for your time and effort. And 6% is what, let's say, you earn on your money. Well, we compute that uh, two times, 3,600 times the 75 cents, and divided by that 6% now as a decimal, and we take the square root of that, and we get $300 is the optimal amount. What if your current policy is $20 each time, which means you do it every two days or every 180 times a year? And that policy, you'll note, would cost us $135.60 a year versus the optimal policy of $300 each time, which would be every month or 12 times a year. And we work that out, and we find out that's 18 bucks, which is considerably a better policy. And notice the two components are 9 and 9, telling us we did it correctly. Well, here's another example, a little different. Suppose you have uh, returnable cans worth a nickel each, and you uh, and your family drink three a day, and that turns out to be $54 a year. And let's say the trip to uh, the recycling center is $2 a trip, and again, let's say 6% a year. And we work that out, and we find the optimum is uh, $60, and a nickel a can, that would be 1,200 cans. And we figure that some more, and that would be every 400 days. And notice our check answer shows that we did it correctly. Well, to restate this, we see our total cost policy, carrying times the quantity divided by 2, 
plus our ordering costs, that's the cost per order times the number of orders, that's usage divided by quantity, has an optimal solution at the square root of 2 times the usage times the transaction cost divided by the carrying cost. And our number of orders is just the usage divided by the quantity. It tells us the frequency per year in this case. This is the economic order quantity originally developed by Baumol and Tobin and is useful for not only individual purposes but for banks, grocery stores, and anybody who uses cash. This is yet another of Dr. C Invests.